This is the Logitech K830 Illuminated Living Room Keyboard. Hi, Dan from Gear Diary. We've looked at a number of different keyboards from Logitech, many of them for the iPad, but we've looked at others that are able to connect to multiple devices at one time. This time out, we're taking a look at the brand new Logitech K830. This is an illuminated living room keyboard. It has an MSRP of $99.99, and it is available now. This keyboard is specifically designed for people who have a computer connected to their home media system, but it actually has other uses I've discovered as well. So inside the box you get a setup guide, you get some warranty information, you get the keyboard itself, you get a USB to micro USB cable, and you get a USB to USB extension cable. The reason for this is that you need to use this little USB dongle. You can put it directly into your computer or you can plug it in here and have it extended out, especially useful if your ports are around the back side of your computer. Other than the keyboard itself, the only other place of interest is here, which actually will, this button will control the function of the mouse pad, the trackpad. We'll come back to that. The micro USB port here is for charging the keyboard and the on off switch is right here. This is an all-in-one keyboard, which means that you have the keyboard over here, nice island keys. They actually feel very, very good. The only issue that I have at all is the fact that they are completely, the keyboard is flat, and I tend to like something that actually angles the keyboard just a little bit. The keyboard is very nice for typing, and it is a full-size keyboard. It actually matches up to the keyboard on my MacBook Pro quite nicely. In addition, you have a trackpad with mouse buttons over here, so that you have an all-in-one solution keyboard, trackpad, and mouse. It works very, very nicely. The keys are, as I said, very, very nice. There's enough play, but enough resistance. It's actually a nice typing experience. The keyboard is backlit, which is always a wonderful thing. It means you can use the keyboard in the dark or in low light without having a problem. The charge on the keyboard will last you up to 10 days per charge, 10 days of use. Now, the good news is that you can turn it off here and you can actually extend that. So it's 10 days of use if you're actively using it. You'll get more if you're conscientious about turning it off. If it does run down, you simply plug it in and recharge it. That's the beauty of recharge batteries. So the product ships with this small dongle. This is not a Bluetooth dongle. This is what Logitech refers to as a unifying receiver. So it gives you corded reliability wirelessly by using 2.5 gigahertz wireless connectivity. So it's really quite simple. You plug it into your computer and the keyboard immediately connects to it. No problem, no muss, no fuss, no software, no hassles, no nothing. Plug it in and you're good to go. In addition, if you use any other Logitech product that uses a unifying receiver, one receiver can function with multiple accessories. It gives you 10 meters or 33 feet of wireless range and the connection is quite solid. I've had no issue whatsoever with it. Now where this gets a little bit interesting is in the fact that you can use this with special customizable software. So the K830 is a plug and play keyboard, but if you prefer to customize the controls on the keyboard, Logitech Options software will let you personalize the keyboard and the touchpad settings. It's unfortunately Windows only, so those of us who use a Mac are out of luck, but even though the software is Windows only and this is designed for use with a Windows PC, when I plugged it into my Mac, it worked just fine. The keyboard worked fine and the trackpad worked fine as well. So it's actually a really good option if you have a Mac in the living room as well, or if you want to bring a separate keyboard along with you, but you don't want a keyboard and a mouse or a keyboard and a trackpad individually when you're traveling, this gives you an option to be able to have the computer a good distance away and simply have your keyboard and trackpad right in front of you. As I mentioned, the typing experience is very, very nice. You get a full keyboard, you get specialty controls here at the top, you get the function buttons here, you get the Windows button here. As I said, it is designed for Windows. I'm actually going to be using a Windows 2-in-1 shortly, and I will be using this with that laptop-tablet combo as well. So let's run down the specialty function keys 
F1 is a manual backlight setting. It cycles through 0, 50%, and 100%. F2, F3, and F4 will minimize, maximize, or close windows. F5 will project the screen on the TV. F6 will show you the desktop. F7 is search. F8 will launch the web browser. F9 will launch the media player. And F10 will give you the previous play, pause, or next track and pause. So you get all the functionality for your media center right here on this keyboard. This is the Logitech K830 Illuminated Living Room Keyboard. It has an MSRP of $99.99. It's designed specifically for use in the living room, but it's not only useful there. Anywhere that you want a keyboard and a trackpad combination in one, this will come in quite handy. It's designed specifically for use with a Windows PC, but it will also work with some loss of functionality, but it will also work with a Mac. So it's a great option if you want a separate keyboard from your computer pretty much anywhere. As I said, this has an MSRP of $99.99. It's available now. Before you leave, if you would take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we would be most appreciative. This is Dan from Gear Diary. Thanks very much for watching.